Hello to my my name is Shalini and today in this video I am going to discuss about the four elements of cranium and about the structure which are passing through these four elements so let's get started for today's topic so the number one is cribriform plate and through cribriform plate the first cranial nerve which is olfactory nerve pass and the number two is optic canal and through optic canal second cranial nerve which is optic nerve as well as ophthalmic artery passes number three is superior orbital fissure and through superior orbital fissure so many structure passes and these are uh, third cranial nerve which is oculomotor nerve fourth cranial nerve which is trochlear nerve after that uh, there will be lacrimal frontal mesociliary branches of the ophthalmic nerve which is uh, first division of the trigeminal nerve after that uh, sixth cranial nerve that is uh, abducens nerve as well as superior ophthalmic vein also passes through the superior orbital fissure now comes to the four number four is the foramen rotundum and through foramen rotundum maxillary nerve pass which is second division of trigeminal nerve now come to the fifth number five is foramen ovale and through foramen ovale mandibular nerve which is third branch of uh, trigeminal nerve accessory meningeal artery as well as sometime lesser petrosal nerve also passes through the foramen ovale number 6 is foramen spinosum and through foramen spinosum midin meningeal artery and veins as well as meningeal branches of mandibular nerve also passes number 7 is foramen lacerum and uh, number 8 is carotid canal and through carotid canal internal carotid artery and internal carotid nerve plexus passes number 9 is internal acoustic meters and through this only one cranial nerve pass that is facial nerve which is seventh cranial nerve now comes to the 10 number 10 is uh, jugular foramen and through jugular foramen uh, uh, so many structure passes which are glossopharyngeal nerve that is ninth cranial nerve vagus nerve that is 10th cranial nerve accessory spinal nerve that is 11th cranial nerve passes as well as uh, uh, in jugular foramen there will be the inferior petrosal sinus sigmoid sinus and uh, posterior meningeal artery also passes through the jugular foramen now come to the 11th 11th is hypoglossal canal and through hypoglossal canal as its name represent a uh, hypoglossal nerve passes that is 12th cranial nerve now comes to the 12th one 12th one is uh, foramen magnum uh, so let's see what are the structure which are passing through foramen magnum spinal cord which is an extension of medulla oblongata passes through the foramen magnum as it exit the cranial cavity and apart from the transmission of medulla oblongata and its membrane foramen magnum also transmit the vertebral arteries anterior and posterior spinal arteries tectorial membrane as well as allo ligament 